Hey everyone. Hi Kenny. Let me start by saying I mean no disrespect in any way, shape, or form in making this video, but I mean it with the utmost respect. Friend of mine, very dear friend of mine, he goes by Kenny525 on YouTube. Very devoted follower of my channel. One hell of a young man. He is going through a very tough time in his life right now. His significant other of six years has very recently passed away suddenly at 27 years old. This video is for you, my friend. I ask anyone who is watching this video right now to please drop Kenny a comment. Just take the time. This is not for me, this is for him. Please drop him a comment and let him know that what he's going through right now, he's not alone. He has all of our support. My support, monkey support. And everyone who watches this, I'm sure, has been in this situation one time or another in their life. Now I'm going to do something on this channel you've never seen me do and probably never seen me do again, but I am going to quote a Bible verse. It's been one of my favorites for a very long time. It's Matthew chapter 5 verse 4, which quotes, Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. And that means exactly what it says. You're in mourning, my friend, but you will be comforted. It's hard to find the words to help someone in their time of need like this to help ease their pain. I did not have the pleasure of talking with your girl, but I know deep down inside that she must have been one hell of a person. I'm sure she was as beautiful inside as she was on the outside. There's going to be statements that you're going to hear in the in the coming days and weeks and possibly even months that um, that you're going to hear and people are, and that is that you some people are going to tell you I know how you feel. No, they don't. No one knows how someone feels. But we can all agree that, again, at one time or another in our lives, we, we have had a situation similar to where we, we may know somewhat of what you're going through. I'm testing that. But when we lose someone as close to our heart as she was to you, sometimes we don't know what to do. We don't know how to feel. Our world just came crashing down. But as I mentioned to you earlier, buddy, that, uh, you know, remember, God, God didn't take her from you. He took her pain from her. And now he's keeping her safe for you. 
I wholeheartedly believe that. She's not really gone, son. She'll always be right there. Always. Um, you know, every everyone says I'm I'm so sorry. Well, we are, and and we say that because it's hard to come up with the right words to to comfort someone in in the situation. But I want you to know that that we have your support. You know how to get a hold of me personally. You're a strong man. You'll get through it. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything and tell you it's all going to be okay because it, it's not. Not in your world. It's not going to be okay. It's going to take some time. But if you're strong enough, you'll overcome. And I know you're strong enough. I know you're strong enough, man. Our hearts and prayers go out to you, to her, and her family as well. You know, I want to tell you something. Many years ago, uh, a lot of you guys don't know this. Yes, I've I've done some uh, speaking in churches. I had a friend uh, was a pastor of a church, a Methodist church. He lost his best friend, his wife of 27 years. He stopped doing sermons as much, and he just uh, just kind of faded away into himself. Didn't see much. He never heard from him much and uh, just one day out of the blue he uh, contacted me wanted to come over and talk to me so sure it was just him and I and uh, he was losing his faith rapidly it's not a good thing and I asked him why why are you losing your faith and he said because <sighs> She she had cancer and, and it was it's was, it was horrible. Anyway, he said I prayed every day, all day, for God to take her pain away. And he said instead, he took her from me. And I said, well, you know, I'm going to tell you something you may or may not want to hear, because you guys know me. I am a straight up man. I said you prayed for him to take her pain away. And he said, yes, I did. I said, is she in any pain? And at that very moment, honest to God, guys, he, you could just see like a weight was lifted from him. The tension subsided. And he says, through all this that never even crossed my mind and I said God answered your prayer he took her pain away he didn't take her from you he took her pain away and I believe that's what he did for your beautiful woman you know because we all have we're all fighting demons inside all of us each and every one of us just some more than others some deal with it better than others but you know, God tests each and every one of us. I believe she passed her test. He said, you know, you've been through enough. You've passed. Now you can come home. Like I said, I don't mean this in any disrespect, and I, and I, I trust that... Uh, I trust that um, I have your permission to make this video and to share with others because I want them to know that we all, at some times in our life, we 
we all need comfort. We we all need those kind words to help us get through. So please, guys, let him know he has our back. He has our support. I'm going to leave you with a thought. And I've thought this for many, many years now. But um, remember, buddy, your tears will dry. Though it may never go away, your pain will fade. But your memories, they can last in eternity. Godspeed, my friend.